Hello YouTube, this is Frank from Heavy Coder, and starting from this video, we're going to start a C Sharp tutorial series. For those who follow Mary's web dev series, don't worry, it's still ongoing and new episode will be uploaded next Sunday. So with that said, in this very first episode, we're going to look at three things. First, we'll discuss how to create or initiate variables directly from user input. Next, we'll be looking at how to convert a string input to a date time object. And lastly, we'll talk about how to use C Sharp's recommended placeholder syntax to print variables back on the screen. In order to demonstrate that, we're going to build a simple console application, which stores the user's full name and date of birth from his input and later print that information back onto the screen. So inside of our Visual Studio IDE, we're going to create a new project called Remember Me, and we'll be doing all our work within the main method. Let's start with giving some instructions to the end user by telling him to enter his full name. So we're going to use the console.writeLine statement to print out on the console, please enter your first name. And on the next line, we're going to create a new variable called first name and store the user's input in that variable. To do this, we're going to chain together a series of commands. First, we declare a new string variable by typing string first name. Then we use an equal sign to tell the computer that we're going to assign whatever comes after the equal sign to our variable first name. Lastly, we're going to use the console.readLine command to store the string from the user. And since the user's input is always going to be a string, no conversion or recasting is needed to store it in our string type variable. After we're done with asking for the user's first name, let's get on with his last name. To do this, we are simply going to copy all the code we have typed up and substitute first name with last name. And our next step is to store the user's date of birth in a variable. This is different from the previous two steps because our intention is to store the input in a date time object instead of a string. We will still start with prompting the user with an instruction. So console.writeLine, please enter a date of birth. And to avoid any confusion, let's also prompt the user with a desired format. So please enter your date of birth in the format of 4 digits of year, 2 digits of month, and 2 digits indicating date. Later on in the series, we'll learn how to cast daytime objects with more flexible formatting, but this will do for now. And since we're casting a daytime object, accordingly, the keyword of our variable type should also be date time, and we'll call this variable dob. Remember we've mentioned that the user's input is always going to be a string, so in order for us to cast the input string into a daytime object, we're going to use the convert dot to daytime method, and inside of its parentheses goes our console dot read line statement. Finally, after all these work, we're going to print out the variables to the console. The method we use is console dot write or console dot write line. However, instead of outputting the variables by string concatenation like you would in JavaScript, for example, hi your name is plus first name plus white space plus last name etc. We're going to use C Sharp's preferred placeholder syntax, which is more structured. It looks like this. First, we're going to put the static string information in the pair of quotation marks, and whatever information that is going to be dynamically substituted with variables, we're going to index them numerically in curly braces. So say we want to write Hi, your name is first name, last name, you were born on DOB. Using this syntax, we're going to write console.writeLine. Hi, your name is curly braces 0, curly braces 1, comma, you were born on curly braces 2, comma. And after the last comma, we list all the variables used in the string. So starting from index 0, we have first name, last name, and DOB. I would also like to point out that since DOB is a daytime object, when we attempt to print it out to console, we need to temporarily convert it to a string by using the sub method to short date string. And finally, at the very end of our code, let's 
also put in a console.readLine statement to prevent the application from exiting on us after execution. So the coding process is over. Let's now test out the application. Let's click on the start button and it goes, please enter your first name. So let's enter Sherlock. And when it comes to last name, let's enter Holmes. And date of birth would be 1854-01-06. Hit enter. Sure enough, we get, hi Sherlock Holmes, you were born on January the 6th, 1854. So that's it guys, hope you found this video informative and please subscribe to our channel for weekly C-Sharp tutorials. And until next time, bye bye.